Hey guys, this is Will with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with a JBL Link 20 speaker driver repair video. And I'll be showing you how to replace the speaker driver if you have a blown speaker driver or you have reason to believe that your speaker driver is damaged. I'll show you how to replace this part. We can provide you this part on our website. The link should be listed below if you're looking for this replacement part. And let's get into it. First, what we will need to do is peel off the top cover here. Grab yourself a flathead screwdriver or something similar. Pry it off. And it just comes off. Now you have five Phillips head screws on the top. Now that the top cover is loose, you can just gently lift it up and release the ribbon, this flex cable. There's a tab that you can flip open and the ribbon will come out. Next, let's do the same on the bottom side. This rubber cover. Use a pry tool of some sort to pry it open. and release four Phillips head screws, the outer ones. And the bottom will just come undone. And release the cables and flex ribbons that are attached to this bottom. Just pull up on the blue one and these flex cables also have tabs that you just pick up, lift them up. Now let's go ahead and open up this fabric cover. I usually grab a pry tool and work your way along the seam. Once it's freed up, Pull it off. Now you can clearly see your two speaker drivers at the bottom of the speaker with passive radiators in between. Let's go ahead and unscrew this speaker driver. Let's say this is the one that you wish to replace. and the speaker comes right out. It is pretty simple, just connected by a cable. There's no soldering needed. Be sure not to lose this gasket that is in between the driver and the unit. You can go ahead and put the gasket back in place to not lose it. And here's your speaker driver. And to put it all back together, just re redo what you have just did. Just grab, let's say this is our new speaker. Connect your speaker. And 
feed the wire in. Secure it down with the four screws. Let's get the fabric grill black back on. So, if there's a gap, you sort of just have to play with it and to get it in place. There we go. Connect the bottom cover. These ribbon cables here are two different sizes, so you should not mix them up. One is smaller, one, one is larger. Now that they're all connected, Fasten it down with the screws. Get your rubber seal. Usually the adhesive or the tape that's on here is sticky enough for it to just go back on and hold in place. Now there is a cutout right here on the this rubber cover as well as a tab notched in the plastic align the cutout with the notch next connect your ribbon to the top cover now it's important that you don't flip it around. You have the blue side of the ribbon facing upwards so that the pins are facing downwards. There we go. and fasten the top cover. Same thing with this top rubber cover. There's a notch that's cut out and a plastic sort of tab. Match it up. And there you have it guys, this is a replacement of a speaker driver on a JBL Link 20 speaker. If you have any questions regarding this repair or tutorial, comment in the comment section below and we will do our best to reply to your comments. Please like and subscribe to our video channel. Thank you for watching. Like always, this part is also for sale if you guys are willing to or looking for a part. Have a great day.